Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to build a do-it-yourself gadget to save us on Argon and in turn save us some money. I don't know where you guys are located but this is February 2021 in the Pacific Northwest and I went to go fill this 150 cubic foot bottle up the other day and it was a hundred bucks to fill this thing with pure Argon. And when you're purging stainless and using it as a shielding gas it can add up real fast and if you have moments of absent-mindedness like I do sometimes, sometimes you forget to turn that purge off and you can just let that bottle run empty. So we're going to build a little gadget today to help us avoid that. We've got a couple components here. We've got a power supply. We've got a little circuit board. We've got a electric air solenoid, little cooling fans, a momentary switch, and some speaker wire because that's what I have and it's cheap. So let's see if we can make this happen. Okay, so now in the interest of saving gas, because that's the whole point of this thing, um, eventually we're gonna hook this guy up to our regulator, but for now I'm just gonna hook it up to the air hose. I got like 15 PSI going here. And there's several options on this guy. I got it programmed into the one I think we're gonna need to use, which in this case is P7. And then I've got it set up so that it's gonna be running for six seconds afterwards in theory. So let's see if this works. So, pedal on. Pedal off. It should run for six seconds and then shut off. And there we go, sweet. Okay, so now that we got this thing functioning the way we want it to, it seems to work really good. It initiates when you put the pedal on and you can hold it and it'll reset and then you release. And then in this case, I got it to six seconds before it will shut off. So this should be really nice. Hit your pedal, your trigger, just like you normally would to get a little bit of pre-flow into your purge. I'll probably jump this up from six seconds to more like 15 seconds. So you hit that, let it pre-flow for 10 to 15 seconds, and then start welding. And then when I'm done welding, it'll kick off 15 seconds after I'm done welding. So now we're gonna take this conglomeration here and I got myself a little plastic enclosure and we're gonna try to see if we can sanitize this and then we're gonna stick it actually on the bottle in the regulator and see how it looks for real. Okay, so we got this thing all in the enclosure here and it looks good, seems to function good. Left a little bit of lead for our pneumatic cylinder. We've got a big like probably 15 feet tail for our switch, which we're gonna mount to our pedal here in a little bit. And I originally was gonna stick one of these little tiny muffin fans in here just for airflow to keep the power supply cool. 
but this little 5 amp power supply seems to be not making hardly any heat anyways and I would like to keep as much dust out of it as possible so we'll see if it gets warm down the road I'll put a little muffin fan in but for now seems to be working good so next up is getting it mounted okay so I got my purge bottle here and I think what I want to do obviously this guy is going to go in the place of where the hose is here so it's going to screw up into the bottom of this so I think I want this guy to hang off of here somewhere like this so we're going to build a bracket real quick to hang this guy off of here and then our little switch is going to be mounted to the foot pedal down here so we're going to mount our switch here and when you mount your switch you want to make sure that the click inside of the box here when your pedal's initiating is going to be really close to the click of when this initiates so you'll get the key in right at the same time find that sweet spot and put a pop rivet in this switch and then we'll tidy this guy up to the cord Okay, so here goes nothing. So I should be able to hit the pedal, let it pre-purge. Get some stuff flowing inside my part. Start welding. Let off the pedal. And then it should run for 10 seconds and drop off. And there we are. Initiate, pre-purge. Then start welding. And drop off 10 seconds after the arc shuts off. And there we are. So overall, I think it was a real success. It's gonna be a super helpful tool. There were a couple of hiccups along the way. One of the biggest ones, which I didn't realize, was that uh, argon or certain gas regulators have different thread types. And this one is a CGA thread. And I didn't have anything, and couldn't find anything in town that would fit that. So as you see, I actually had to take the quarter inch factory nipple off that and then machine it. And then I tapped it to a quarter inch NPT so that I could fit my electric solenoid here and that ended up working great. And there's a couple other things that I wanna tweak and finesse as I go on. Number one is that switch on the pedal. I'm not totally in love with it. I was trying to decide if I like it actually on the pedal itself or if it's something that I wanna have a second pedal that I make so that I hold that down and that's my purge and then I just have two separate pedals. We'll see, but it is super nice to be able to hit that and just pre-purge, 
the whole unit ahead of time and then start welding. And then as soon as I let off, I have it set for 10 seconds now. So it'll run for 10 seconds after I let off that pedal and continue a little bit of post flow as that weld cools down. So this is the project that you guys want to do. I'll leave links in the description to all these components that I used. One thing I do want to say is I would only ever do this on an inert gas bottle. So I would never stick electronics like this on an, a oxyacetylene bottle or oxygen bottle. You never want to have anything that could potentially make spark at all near that. Argon is an inert gas. It's not going to flame up. So I'm not really worried about that, but do your own due diligence. Be safe out there. And once again, I want to thank all you guys for watching these videos. The channel is really growing lately and it's really cool to see that. Make sure to leave comments in the description if there's any videos that you want to see specific things on. If you hit that like button, it really helps the channel out, helps with the algorithm and helps drive traffic to the video so the channel can grow and we can bring more content to you guys. So once again, if you want to see more fabrication content, click one of the links that's going to pop up here. Hit that bell icon so you get notified of upcoming videos and go build something guys.